I have been flying my Oma 95 a lot on set, on production work, and it's really given me an opportunity to really evaluate a couple of things that I've been wanting to improve on this build. Now, because I've been using it on different productions and different sets, I've been able to kind of see the different ways that this tool is being pulled. And when I originally came out with this idea of creating this with the naked GoPro and things like that. It was really strictly for that cine style indoor, just kind of hovering around and maybe doing a couple of orbits around some human talent and maybe flying through some tiny little gaps. But since then, I've had to chase people on ATVs. I've had to dive a couple of things, fly indoors. And it's really kind of helped me understand that I actually kind of want more power out of this thing. Now, originally I recommended the 1204 5000 kV motor, and while that's still all in good if you're doing strictly cine style stuff, I've just lately been feeling like I want some more power. So, with that said, I have been trying a handful of different motors, and I feel like I've got enough time in it now that I can come out and make a video for you guys and maybe help you guys make a decision about what motor setup you want to run on your Oma 95. So what we're gonna do is jump into some flying footage of what each of these setups are, and I'm gonna go in order of what I think is on the cine style, more slow side, all the way leading up to what is my personal favorite, which would just be like a nice freestyle setup. So I'm gonna skip the 1204 because you guys already know what that's about. All of my previous videos have been based off of that 1204 motor. All right, so let's start off with the 1303 motor. Now I use the one from iFlight. It is this guy right here. It's the 5000 kV motor. And I ran this with the HQ two and a half by two and a half by three inch prop on 4S and you know, honestly, I felt like this is pretty much along the same lines as a 1204. I do think it's a little bit better. I felt like it just couldn't handle windy situations as well as some of these other motors that I'm gonna talk about. So if you do want to run something lightweight, but you want a little bit more torque from the wider stator, I'd recommend this one, but I'd absolutely just keep it to more of that cine style indoor flying. But at the end of the day, I don't think it is that much different from a 1204 motor. And as you can see here, this is basically the raw, unstabilized footage coming out of the GoPro. And I don't want to run it through real steady or anything like that because I wanted you guys to see what the raw footage looks like. All right, so the next motor that I tried was the 1106 4500 KV. This guy right here, hopefully you guys can see that. And this is actually the motor that you get when you buy the Beta 95X RTF from Beta FPV. And for this one, because the KV is a little bit lower, I ran the HQ 2.5 by 3.5 by 3 prop. So a little bit more aggressive pitch. And I thought this was actually not bad. So this is definitely a notch up from the 1204 and the 1303. I'd say this is something that is a little bit more doable flying outdoors in somewhat windy conditions. Absolutely still controllable if you're flying indoors for that cinematic style kind of flying. The interesting thing is that the 1106 and the 1303 all weigh around six and a half grams. So if you are watching your weight, that's something to take note of. You can get a little bit more power with this without that weight penalty. And at the end of the day, the flight times, now I've been getting about four minutes-ish with the 1204, and I didn't really notice anything significant in terms of running the 1303 or even this 1106 motor on the same 4S 450 milliamp battery. All right, so the next motor that I tested is the iFlight 1404. This is the 4600 kV motor. And again, because this is a little bit lower kV from the 5000 that I've been flying, I'm using the HQ 2.5 by 3.5 by 3 inch prop on this one. Now, this motor surprisingly feels very, very close to the 1106. I do feel like it has a little bit more response on the low end. On the top end of things, I feel like is very similar to the 1106. Now, this does come at an expense of weighing about two grams more than the rest of the motors that I've tried. It's about eight and a half grams as is. And it's not something that I could feel in flight, but if you are absolutely watching your weight, that's something to take note of. Now, as you can see, again, this is just raw, unstabilized footage coming from the GoPro. I feel like outdoors, it'll hold its own if you're just having some fun for some freestyle, but flying it indoors is absolutely easy with this. And finally, the last motor that I was testing, and it wasn't really last, because actually, if I'm being completely accurate here, 
the 1207 motor 5000 kV was actually one of the first motors that I tested. And I kind of ordered this just completely blindly. I had been flying the 1204, I tried the 1106, and I immediately just jumped to the 1207, guesstimating that this is gonna be something that I liked. But I didn't feel comfortable just telling everybody, hey, 1204, 1207 is the way to go without trying some of these other options yet. But I'm glad I did. So in this footage, I forgot to hit record on the GoPro, so my apologies. This is actually the DVR footage coming from the DJI goggles. But as you can see, this is quite a massive difference. The way it's able to stabilize the aircraft is a lot quicker than the rest. Uh, you can see from the flying that it flies a lot smoother. And by the way, I am running the HQ 2.5 by 2.5 by 3 prop on this. At 5,000 kV, I feel like you just don't need that much of an aggressive prop. And with this setup, I am getting still about that four minute range, maybe about 15 to 20 seconds less, just depending on how I'm flying. But at the same time, I've found that if I'm flying really conservative or most, if most of my flying is just hovering around and cruising, I'm still getting four minutes of flight time. And this motor actually weighs six and a half grams as well. And so if you are looking for something that can hold its own outdoors in windy conditions, maybe you wanna use your OMA 95 for more of a freestyle application while still at the same time being able to do some of the cinematic kind of work, I absolutely 100% recommend the 1207 5000 kV motor. And you can see in some of this video, I do some of these maneuvers where I'm kind of diving down and pulling out of it. And all of this is super, easy with this just because it feels a little bit closer to my five inch setups in terms of power to weight ratio. Whereas some of these other motors like the 1404, the 1106, especially the 1303 and 1204, coming out of these dives is a little bit more difficult because you have to start pulling out that much earlier. If you were to ask me, the 1207 5000 kV motor is the way to go. If you wanted even more power than that, you could run it with the uh, two and a half by three and a half by three prop from HQ and you'll get even more pop. And for me, I just, you know, because I've been flying this a lot more lately, what typically happens is I go on production, I do my thing and I come back and I have a whole bunch of charged batteries. And so naturally, you know, as an FPV dude, you can't have charged batteries. I don't like coming home to charge batteries. And so I go out there and I just freestyle with these things. And uh, that's really, you know, part of the reason why I started looking for a more powerful powertrain setup. And in addition, it also just makes this thing that much more versatile because now if they want me to chase somebody on an ATV and with the same drone also be able to fly it inside the house and kind of do orbits around talent, I can do it all from the same tool and it's not like I have to go get something different, you know, and I really like that. So the other thing I want to just quickly mention is if you are interested in trying the 1207 specifically, I ordered these from RCN Power with the, with the connector. This is only important if you have connectors on your ESC. So I run the Beta FPV ESCs and they have the little connectors. You can see here, I actually had to solder it onto this to, to actually do the test. But if you want it to just be plug and play, you can buy the 1207 motor on my store. So if I, if I just recap this, on the super cinematic, just more of like hovering kind of side of things, it would be like your 1204 and 1303. If you want something more like in the middle, I would say the 1404 or the 1106. And if you just want just straight up freestyle grunt power on this side of things, that would be the 1207. Again, not to say that you can't do cinematic stuff with it, you can, you just gotta get on that throttle control a little bit better. All right, folks, that's gonna end it for today's video. My name is Tommy. Hopefully I helped you guys make a decision today. If so, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.